and here comes part three. So all over the world, flags are flying at half mast. I'm sure you know what that means now, sort of halfway down the flagpole. And people are remembering her. They're writing messages and there will be a huge state funeral for her when the world will watch. Millions and millions of people will watch her funeral. Now, I don't know yet which day Robert's funeral will be, but I will be one of the few people there because he died on Monday and I had visited him uh, several times when he was taken into hospital in the last few weeks and then into Milner House, uh, a nursing home in Ashted. And Robert had been very alone. He has an, a niece who started to take an interest and help him in the last couple of years because when I was busy looking after Sicily so much I couldn't look after him um, and his next door neighbours who'd been so good to him were not able to continue so much because they're well into their 80s but when I saw Robert in the hospital and in Milner House he knew immediately I walked in, in the room and said, hello, Robert. He'd open his eyes and there was a sparkle and he tried to speak. He couldn't really move. He'd just become just bone, really. All his bones were sticking out and he was very unwell. But we would talk and, and then he would just sleep and I'd hold his hand. And I was very sad that this man who'd had such a sad life was, was dying with so little around him, really, and so few people, just the staff and so on. But actually, we had deep talks and I was able to, to pray for him at the end of his life. He wanted me to, and I believe that both he and the Queen, they were equal in death as their lives ended. Neither of them could take anything with them that they had around them. The Queen had so, so much in terms of luxury and just lovely things around her. And Robert really had nothing at all. But they are equal, equal in importance. And I believe they were both loved by God and will be with him in eternity for the rest for the rest of time. And we don't understand exactly how that's going to be. End of part three.